What's up guys, Momo Jerry's here and we have a few new reveals for today. We have one from D-Bag, which I just found out it's deck build Ancient Guardian. So in the OCG, they're going to have deck build packs and they're going to be called DB. Interesting choice, but you know, whatever. So this one is for the Eurosatic, Sartic, or Sartic. I am no idea how to pronounce this art guy. Okay, so it's a normal spell card. You can only use this effect card name once and twice, whatever. Discard one card, add two Urasat monsters from your deck to your hand. Okay. If you attribute a monster, activate an Urasat monster effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. You cannot use this effect during your turn this card was sent to the graveyard. Wow. What? 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 The fact that you're just able to use this and add two? That's ridiculous. Okay. Then we have some Gaia support and Arm Dragon support from the Valuable Book EX promos. Interesting. Okay. The, uh, a, the Valuable Book EX catalog is going on sale March 19th and contains information on the cards released over the last year as well as two promotional cards based on Gaia the Fierce Knight Arm Dragon decks. Interesting. This is a level 5 fusion. Um, it's a dark dragon with 2000 attack and 59 defense. So it's just Curse of Dragon. Okay. Materials is one warrior and one level 5 or higher dragon monster. You can only use this first effect once per turn. If this card is fused in time, you can target one spell trap that lists the name Gaia, the dragon champion, and its text in your graveyard and add it to your hand. If you were fusing some of the level 7 dragon monster, you can also use monsters from your graveyard as material by banishing them. Hmm. Interesting. Let's check out. Um, I don't know if they're all dragons. Okay, let's do Rise of the Duelist. Oh, look, Gaia. Is it a dragon? No. It is a dragon. Huh. It is a dragon. Okay, interesting. And let's go to the Armed Dragon support. All right, Kyle Arm Dragon, a level seven wind dragon effect monster. So this could be Dark Arm. 2800 attack and 1000 defense. Arm Dragon level seven as well. You could send one dragon monster that's either wind or level seven or high from your hand to the graveyard, except this card. So I send this card from your hand. Send a dragon that's either wind or level seven. So you could send Arm Dragon level three. Send summon. You could send one Arm Dragon monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, except Kyle Arm Dragon. Then target one face up monster you control. You can only attack one monster for the rest of this turn. Also target gains 300 attack times the level of the monster sent. Huh. Huh. So if you have a level 10 in your hand, let's say you have a 3, 10 in this guy. Send 3 to the graveyard, summon this guy, and then you have a 10 already on the field. Or dragon white. And then you send arm dragon white to the graveyard. And then Arm Dragon level 10 gains 3,000 attack. Interesting. Okay. I was thinking more of a Banish uh, Arm Dragon or a Wind art Attribute from your graveyard to destroy a card on the field or banish it. But I guess that works too. I mean, why is it separate from all the other Arm Dragon support? I don't know. But interesting i mean that's i can't vouch for that card it's pretty bad now this one i mean you have to fusion summon to fusion summon so it's called curse of dragon the magical knight dragon they love adding curse of dragon to everything so there's probably going to be a curse of dragon archetype as well as gaia support which is interesting but yeah so tell me what you guys think about this support in the comment section below what other support you think we're going to be getting lightning overdrive or sets forward or what sets do you want to see more legacy support in please tell me everything in the comment section below don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and as always i'll catch you guys later peace